To finish up the section on circles, let's talk about the proportional properties of intersecting chords, secants and tangent. We begin with two chords. In a circle, the product of the parts of intersecting chords are equal. Notice what I'm saying. I'm saying the products, so that if part A is 5 and part B is 6, the product is 30. And if the product of A and B is 30, then the product of C and D must also be 30. So that if C is 3, then D must be 10. And if C is 4, then D must be 7.5. Why is that? Well, let's begin by closing the chords with auxiliary segments here. By drawing the lines, we have created two similar triangles. And didn't we agree that similar triangles are proportional? If the triangles are similar, then the corresponding size must be proportional, right? Well, let's see if the triangles are similar. We know that two triangles are similar by AA. Let's see if we find equal angles. Okay, angle 1 and angle 2 are equal because they are vertical angles. And angle 3 and angle 4 must also be equal because they are inscribed angles intercepting the same arc. Get it? So the triangles are similar by AA. Let's take the triangles out and place them side by side so we may compare the corresponding sides better. Now angles 1 and 2 and angles 3 and 4 are properly referenced. Notice that once the triangles are properly referenced, then 3 is to 5 as 6 is to 10. And cross multiplying 3 times 10 is 30. And 5 times 6 is also 30. It checks. If you multiply the parts of the intersected chords, the products are equal.